When the US military prepares its satellite for launch into orbit, a terrorist organization known as COBRA, under the leadership of the sinister COBRA commander, a power-hungry dictator, has devised the mass device, an ultimate weapon with the ability to transport matter, and they plan to steal the satellite. COBRA's team includes Destro, a specialist in weaponry, Baroness, COBRA commander's second-in-command, and Zartan, a master of disguise. In response, the G.I. Joe team, led by the skilled and brave soldier Duke, is called into action to evaluate the satellite installation security. The G.I. Joe team also includes Hawk, the team's commander, Scarlet, a skilled disguise artist, Snake Eyes, a ninja commando, and Rock and Roll, an expert in heavy weapons. However, while in disguise, Baroness secretly attaches a homing device to the satellite, prompting Cobra to use their mass device to transport forces to steal the satellite. Cobra stages an attack during the launch of G.I. Joe's space shuttle, which serves as a diversion to secretly place Zartan and the Dreadnoughts on board. Safeguarded by large robots, Cobra's leaders manage to evade the scene, seeking temporary refuge in the Crimson Twins' Enterprise Towers before eventually relocating to a secluded base concealed behind a waterfall. Upon the space shuttle's arrival at Space Station Delta, Zartan uses creatures called Fatal Fluffies to seize control of the station, leading to the capture of the Joes aboard it. He redirects the station's firepower towards Joe headquarters, launching energy bursts that severely damage the base. Meanwhile, Shipwreck, Snake Eyes and their animal companions track the robots that assisted Cobra Commander to an underground complex and subway system. Disguised in Cobra work attire, they infiltrate the covert base, but are stopped at a security checkpoint. Polly's recitation of a password successfully guides Shipwreck and Snake Eyes past Cobra's security checkpoint, leading them into a factory producing cubes for the Pyramid of Darkness. As they strive to maintain their dubious cover, the Joes from headquarters have relocated to the USS Flag, a tracking device discreetly placed by Shipwreck, enables the Joes to trail the first cube to the Volcanic Devil's Playground in South America. Meanwhile, on Space Station Delta, Dusty employs a clever ploy to reach Duke and gain insights into Cobra's intentions. He installs a device that permits the Earth-based Joes to intercept Cobra's transmissions to the station. The Joes on the flag become privy to the next two cube locations. Roadblock leads a team to the City of the Dead, and dispatches another group by sea to the Mountain of Glass. Meanwhile, Shipwreck and Snake Eyes successfully pilfer a laser disc containing cube schematics and make their getaway through a mine, only to resurface in the less desirable part of Enterprise City. At the Devil's Playground, Flint and Lady J find themselves in a standoff as Destro strives to position the first cube and a failed attack leaves the two Joes submerged in a sea of bubbling pink goo. G.I. Joe captures Tomax, prompting his identical twin brother, Xamot, to plan a rescue mission before Cobra can activate the last cube within the Sea of Lost Souls. In the meantime, Shipwreck and Snake Eyes receive support from a pop singer named Satin, who assists them in evading Cobra's troops within Enterprise City. Cobra activates the Pyramid of Darkness, stranding the Joes at sea. The Crimson Twins foresee Cobra Commander's betrayal and signal for the Dreadnoughts to remove control from Zartan and Cobra Commander. Alpine and Bazooka join forces with Quick Kick, a Hollywood stuntman and karate specialist. Furthermore, G.I. Joe regains authority over Space Station Delta and initiates a comprehensive attack on Cobra Temple. This operation destroys the control cubes and the Pyramid of Darkness. In a swamp, Zartan uses his chameleon abilities to incapacitate a night security guard and subsequently knocks out Dr. Hibbentrope using green gas. G.I. Joe HQ is alerted to the scientist's kidnapping and others and questions Cobra's motive. The team speculates that Cobra might be collecting scientists like trading cards. Cobra Commander demands a $60 billion ransom, leading to humorous suggestions like putting it on a credit card. G.I. Joe tracks the signal to South America. 
Three sky strikers and three dragonflies engage in an airstrike on Cobra's Incan-style base in South America. They eliminate his tanks and defenses. A ground team, led by Flint, Lady J, and others, lands to confront Cobra forces. Inside the temple, Cobra Commander sets traps for the infiltrating Joes. The Joes are divided into teams and navigate through various traps in the temple. They encounter hallucinogenic gas, laser-armed Cobra troopers, and bizarre challenges, including a snake-themed roller coaster, a giant jack-in-the-box ambush, a room filled with balloons, and an electrified bowling alley. Meanwhile, Cobra Commander taunts the Joes, claiming the island is rigged to explode. Flint and Lady J encounter Cobra Commander's robotic duplicates. A firefight ensues, but Lady J is knocked out. Flint engages Cobra Commander directly and destroys some robots, though the Commander triggers the island's self-destruct mechanism. Amid the chaos, Flint extends the evacuation time, allowing Joes to escape. They regroup, recover their comrades, and leave the temple. The island is obliterated in a massive explosion. In the aftermath, the Joes return to action. Cobra Commander celebrates his capture of scientists in another control center, but faces an attack from G.I. Joe. A battle ensues, and the Joes rescue the scientists, while Cobra Commander and the Baroness escape in a rattler. The Joes successfully track and defeat Cobra, securing the release of the scientists. The story ends with some humorous banter among the Joes. During a conflict between G.I. Joe and Cobra, an accident occurs, triggering an experimental weapon. Consequently, the Joes lose consciousness. When they regain awareness, the explosion transports them to a parallel dimension where Cobra has defeats G.I. Joe and has taken control of the world. While trapped in this alternate reality, the Joes form an unexpected alliance with the Baroness. In this alternate world, Steeler discovers that the Baroness is a double agent and his romantic partner. She aids in the rescue of the Joes and facilitates their return to their original home dimension. However, Steeler, Clutch and Grunt decide to remain in the alternate world after witnessing the grim consequences of Cobra's dominance on their alternate selves. Lady J inherits a manor in Loch Lomond, northern Scotland, from Dame Agatha Doyle, which turns out to be Destro's ancestral castle. While exploring the manor, she stumbles upon a winter solstice ritual intended to harness dark forces. Lady J's presence jeopardizes her involvement in the ritual, and she needs rescue from Flint and G.I. Joe. It's eventually disclosed that Lady J and Destro share a common ancestral lineage. While on an island, Lady J and Shipwreck embark on a mission to rescue Professor Mullaney, a scientist who claims to have developed a new weapon capable of transforming water into a bomb. During their rescue attempt, the Professor embeds the secret formula into Shipwreck's mind, and only Lady J possesses the code word to release it. In the midst of a cobra attack, Shipwreck loses consciousness while attempting to flee. He regains consciousness six years later in a town called Springfield, where he is seemingly married to Mara and has a daughter named Althea. G.I. Joe has emerged victorious in their conflict against Cobra, but Shipwreck is determined to uncover the events and developments that occurred during his absence. Shipwreck is haunted by distressing nightmares about the events of the six years he missed. However, he becomes suspicious when he realizes that these nightmares may be part of Cobra's scheme to access the concealed formula of Operation Hot Water hidden in his mind. Meanwhile, Zartan produces synthetic G.I. Joe duplicates using a substance known as pseudoplasm to make them appear identical to the real team members. Shipwreck grows wary when he notices that he hasn't aged as expected. In response, he contacts the other Joes, and arranges a meeting at Temple Alpha, which is the actual location of Springfield. Together, they formulate a plan to take down Cobra once and for all.